Uh, I have the privilege of welcoming you all today here uh, to Telemark Resort Cable Area uh, in Wisconsin for some very exciting news. Uh, the end of last week, the U.S. Olympic Committee announced that the Cable Area will play host to the 2012 International Paralympic World Cup uh, Biathlon and Cross Country Ski Championship. I can assure you it is the highest level of competition in the world. Athletes from many countries will be coming here uh, to compete over the course of a week in different disciplines and lengths of both biathlon and cross-country skiing. Well, first of all, thank you everyone uh, for coming here. It's a very exciting day for us, for our organization and uh, for the local community. And first of all, uh, secondly, I would like to thank, uh, thank you, James, and the Chamber of Commerce and the um, Town of Cable and uh, County and the state for amazing support of bringing this event. Um, uh, this event is, uh, as James mentioned, Paralympic Nordic Skiing World Cup. will include cross-country skiing and biathlon. We'll have two competitions for cross-country skiing and two competitions uh, for biathlon. Uh, those, there are three divisions. Uh, one division is for individuals in the wheelchair, so they use special device, which is called seat ski. It's a chair attached to cross-country skis. There's a stand-up division for amputee, uh, typically, uh, and there's also a division for visual impaired. So there are three divisions for male and female athletes. And a lot of the athletes will be participating, and most of the athletes will be participating in cross-country skiing and biathlon events as well. We're thrilled to be here working with Telemark Resort and URI and Central Cross Country. Um, as well as all of you locally that we know will support this event with volunteers and other key support that we may be looking for. Um, this has been an endeavor for us to get this event here to the U.S., but I think it's great for our program that we're able to bring the international competition here to our athletes. Um, so they are essentially staying at home, which is what we strive for. Um, and we're, we're just thrilled to be coming back in January and putting this on and uh, know that it will be successful and that you know we'll have a great showing with our international competitors so thank you as you're you're getting the idea this is this is uh, exciting news uh, the US Olympic Committee is excited to have this event uh, challenged on US soil obviously we're excited about the opportunity to have this level of, of athletic event here in northern Wisconsin on the best trails in the US uh, you know the American Burka Biner is here the the fat tire festival is here uh, our trail system is known throughout uh, the u.s as the best trail system there is and so we're excited to have this competition here on this trail system and, and really show them a great event bayfield county stepped up and said they they got it they understood what this meant to our area they made a commitment the town of cable made a commitment obviously the chamber has a a, a strong idea of what this can mean for our economics and so I called Yuri back 45 minutes later uh, with the necessary funding and I have to tell you the state of Wisconsin was extremely excited about the opportunity to partner with the US Olympic Committee to bring this event here and to show you how excited they are I'm going to introduce to you Stephanie Klett Wisconsin's Secretary of Tourism. Cable Wisconsin Tiny Cable Wisconsin will be home to the 2012 IPC World Cup event. This is huge news for our state on so many levels. First of all, on an economic level. You know, there's a huge economic impact that having 100 of the best adaptive sport athletes from 15 countries here, plus their coaches and their friends and family, spectators and volunteers, that's a huge economic impact. But for us, it's also about the opportunity to show them what Wisconsin people and our landscape is all about. We know that Cable Wisconsin has some of the best trails in the, it really, on the planet. And now the rest of the world will know. It's a tremendous opportunity for us. At the Department of Tourism, we have a grant program called Ready, Set, Go. And it exists to help communities like Cable bring in, lure in, establish sporting events. And James Boland from the Chamber said, uh, we, we, need to, we need to go for this. We've got some expenses coming our way. So James, I need to bring you up here, and I have some good news if you'd step over here to the right. In all the years that Ready, Set, Go has been established, we have never had a higher score on, a gem, or on an application ever in the history of this. In fact, out of 100 points, you actually had a judge that scored you 
perfectly. So I am so pleased to present you the highest amount that we can award, $20,000 for the IPC World Cup. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's something we don't take for granted. It's something that we're incredibly honored uh, to be part of and to host. So uh, it's a real pleasure to be here today, and uh, we cannot wait for January 23rd, which is when the athletes will start pouring in, and they'll be here through January 30th. So thank you. So there is the official logo. Oh. We are really excited uh, to have this announcement today, uh, to know that the, the best athletes in the world are coming here. We, we, cannot put into words uh, what this means to us and how excited we are. And so from a local cable resident, I want to thank Yuri and Telemark and the U.S. Olympic Committee and everyone that has made this a possibility because we are going to have an opportunity to see an event that we wish more people had the opportunity to see. But we are really excited that we're having it right here in cable. And so spread the word, let people know, uh, get everybody up here to see this event in northern wisconsin but we're really excited i want to thank you all for being here uh, today thank you